have to say. Um, porn. So we have we have kind of two two things. We have the consumers and we have the performers. And we have the people, the participants. Um, let's start with the consumers. Um, anybody can jump in at any time. What what does the average porn consumer not know? I would say the average porn consumer doesn't understand what goes into make it's like don't look at the sausage because you'll never eat it the average porn consumer does not understand that porn in its production is violence against women that the women last for about three months and are often then thrown out because their bodies simply cannot tolerate the violence what they don't know is that most women are in there because they've got few choices and would rather be anywhere else but on that porn set and that pornography is really prostitution with the camera going and we need to think of it as a form of sexual exploitation I think many people are hearing that, Gail, and who've read your books would be shocked by the film's characters, I mean, real people like Rachel, speaking about how empowering they find it, how liberating, how exciting, how thrilling. And uh, yes, there are downsides. There are downsides to every job, including mine, uh, as a law professor. But um, I was really um, positively impressed by among other things, the young women saying how respected they felt and protected more so even than in the real world. Um, yeah, every job does have points to where it's maybe uncomfortable, but when you go to a job, you're not technically showing every single part of your body or someone isn't technically using every single thing that you have and then tossing it away like it was never ever anything important so it's if I went to work and I hated my boss I could be like I hate my boss and walk home and whatever but in the fact that I am out there I'm completely open every part of my body soul mind is having to be in that position it's a little bit more than uncomfortable